Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the Ishin Tiny QX90C review. Uh, today in this episode we are going to take a look at the Clean Flight software and uh, see the settings that uh, this uh, little quadcopter comes with. As you can see it's already connected to the PC so I'm going to click on connect here. This is the stock firmware no changes whatsoever now it's level on the table and as you can see it's not really level here so uh, calibration must be done if I wish to fly this thing right, so on the transmitter uh, I already have a connection to the receiver so I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to go straight to receiver settings and as you can see uh, we don't have 1500 as we should so I have to play with the transmitter settings to modify endpoints and uh, subtrims to obtain a perfect uh, uh, center here also the throttle range it's not that high so I'm also going to have to adjust that from the transmitter and then set the minimum and maximum from uh, clean flight. Right, so let's take a quick look on the rest of the settings. I'm going to calibrate the accelerometer. So the tiny quad is now level, the surface is flat. I have kind of measured that it's flat and it's not on tilted on uh, a side. So I'm going to calibrate accelerometer. Now I'm going to wait and now it's perfectly flat so it's not tilted to one side. Let's see what else we have here. So ports, we have this enabled configuration, we have motor stop, so do not spin motors when armed, disarm mode, okay fail safe, stage 2 is enabled. We got here auto, auto, auto and hold for AUX channel 1. The PIDs, the default values, you can pause the video if you need the original PIDs. I'm going to dump this and uh, save a file with them before tuning. The modes, these are the modes that are predefined, so on the same switch, which works from uh, my receiver without any kind of modifications uh, I have the same switch and channel assigned to arming motors and uh, switching flight modes and there is only one flight mode so I have to modify this which I'm going to do right now so I'm not going to use auxiliary one let's see in the receiver configuration if there is another switch working yes my three position switch is working so I'm going to use AUX2 for that so for flight modes I'm going to choose AUX2 and let's do something like that angle I'm going to also add horizon so I'm going to select second position and AUX2, OK. And I leave it that way. So I have two flight modes. I will use Horizon like that. So I can switch between Angle and Horizon. Also, now I can arm, disarm as I wish to without bothering changing flight modes. I'm now going to save all the settings and I'm going to disconnect take the USB cable out of the computer and out of the mini quad I'm also going to connect the battery And 
I have power I'm going to hold it real steady now I'm going to arm the transmitter and I have idle and I'm also able to disarm it let's uh, test the fail safe now so mini quad is powered on I'm going to power on the transmitter and I'm going to arm it so this is idle speed and I'm going to turn off the transmitter and manually disarm so the quad remains in idle speed uh, let's see what happens if I throttle it up and uh, turn off the transmitter so it's now armed so the power is gradually reduced but I still need to adjust the minimum uh, uh, motor speed because it's currently too high so I'm going to test that uh, again after I tune the motor speed because they are spinning too hard now and it's generating lift so in case I lose connection uh, with, uh, with it it's going to fly away and uh, probably at this size I'm not going to ever find it out again to continue with the setup, I have uh, modified the sub trims on uh, my transmitter, and as you can see, with all the sticks perfectly centered, I get uh, 1500 exactly as I should, and uh, that's normal for a clean flight. I now have to adjust the endpoints a bit just to make the most out of uh, the possible range of the transmitter to have a linear uh, control over the sticks by setting the endpoints as you can see here for uh, each uh, channel individually I now not only have a perfect center but also I get almost full range for example look at the pitch is uh, almost 2000 and at minimum it's almost 1000 just like it should and the same goes for the roll and the yaw and of course the throttle which once again it's very close to what it should be so I'm very happy with this I get full range and that's going to make it a very smooth flight and a very controllable quad using the motor tab now I'm going to find the right idle speed for the motors where they can run steadily so I can use that as a idle speed for the motors and avoid having a too high idle and preventing that flyaway problem so the quad has the battery connected I did not remove the propellers it's better to remove them but at this small size I'm just going to keep it in my hand and I'm going to use the master control and I'm slightly going to adjust them So that looks like a good idle speed, maybe just a bit higher. Mm -hmm. That should do it. Okay, I got an idea of what it should be, and now I'm going to 
configuration and I'm going to use not this idle speed but this idle speed in my case so save and reboot I'm now going to power on the transmitter and arm the motors and as you can see I have a much better idle speed the quad does not have lift uh, it will not fly away in the idle and it's working perfectly just as it should now so I'm going to disarm, shut down and that's all for now uh, flight test is uh, coming soon until next time bye bye